Prepare yourself for a journey to wisdom, wellness, and wonder through Greek philosophy. Whatever your hopes and dreams may be, you will emerge from this guided meditation much more comfortable and much more confident than before. It will all seem effortless to you. Now prepare yourself. Arrange your clothes. Make sure your other devices are turned off so that we will have no disturbances during this guided meditation. Your hands should be to the side of your body with the palms facing upwards. Now let's begin by taking a deep breath together, inhaling through the nose, holding that breath and spreading it throughout your whole body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. And only when you've spread the oxygen in your body can you then exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale deeply, deeply, deeply Relaxing your facial muscles, relaxing your shoulders, spreading the oxygen to all the cells of your body, and exhaling through the mouth with double the time so that really you empty out any stress. Once again, a deep, deep inhalation, relaxing your jaw in particular by dropping your mouth open, spreading the oxygen throughout your whole body, relaxing your shoulders, and again exhaling double the time so that you feel deeply, deeply relaxed. Observe your abdomen, your stomach area, as it's rising and falling with every breath you take. Observe how it inflates like a balloon every time you're inhaling, and how it deflates every time you exhale. Allow yourself to breathe naturally, relaxing, and being comfortable with every breath you take. Now, I want you to imagine that you are standing on a sandy beach in beautiful Greece. You're looking outwards towards the sea. You pause a moment and inhale the salty sea breeze. You notice the shimmering golden reflection of the sun on the surface of the water. You are drawn to walk into the clear water, so you undress. You approach the foamy edge of the sea the water is calm and welcoming. First your ankles are wet, then your knees, then your waist. As you progress deeper into the water, you dip your head in. Now you are swimming around a bit, feeling how relaxed it is to simply be floating and flowing in the water. You feel cleansed and refreshed. Now you see the island in the near distance. It was always there, but you hadn't noticed it. It's a lush green island, and you're curious, so you begin to swim towards it. The waters beneath are crystal clear, so you feel safe and comfortable 
as you swim towards the beautiful island. Finally, you have reached the shore on the beach. There is a white linen toga with your name embroidered in gold. You understand that someone has left it there for you, so you put it on. Once you are dressed, a beautiful woman appears. You recognize her like a long lost friend. You are so happy to see her. Your heart is swelling with happiness. She says to you, welcome lover of wisdom. You have arrived at the place of transformation. Now you are gazing into each other's eyes. about contemplating your own death. Epictetus, the great Greek philosopher, said that I am not eternal, but a human being, a part of a whole, as an hour is of the day. Like an hour, I too must come to an end and pass away. Things are impermanent, so I suggest you enjoy what you love as long as you have it. There's nothing we fear more than our own death. It makes us uncomfortable to feel that we are finite. This fear, according to the Stoics, is irrational. Because of that fear, we don't think about our own death. We avoid the thought completely. Or to leave it for times when there are funerals. We feel immortal, yet we're not. You must beware that what happens to others will also happen to you too. We don't know how much longer our heart will keep on beating if we're going to take another breath. And it's not really up to us to decide. It's only up to us to decide how we want to live. To live in the moment in the present moment with full awareness. We need to get the most out of life. The Stoics advise us to live today as if it were our last. Think of yourself as dead, wrote Marcus Aurelius to himself. You have lived your life. Now take what's left and live properly. In other words, imagine you're already passed away and take this chance at a second life to live in a way that is profound and true. When I say living your day as if it were your last, it's not about going out and partying or being frivolous and doing drugs. It's all about periodically reflecting on the fact that you'll never live forever. You're mortal after all.
like an hour you too shall pass away. The objective is not to change your activities necessarily, but your state of mind when you're doing activities, when you're having encounters with others. To be mindful, to be grateful, Contemplating on your own death, what the Stoics call memento mori, will actually deepen your enjoyment of life. You won't take things for granted anymore, and you'll appreciate every little thing more than others. Because you're aware that time is ticking, you will cherish every moment. Also, thinking of your death helps you to stop making random choices and wasting your time or being distracted from your true purpose in life. You're more aware of where you want to spend your time and with whom. You're more cautious of where you spend your money making sure that you invest it in what's really important and you don't waste away your life simply to make money that you'll never enjoy. Life is now and you want to make the best of it by expressing your best self in every moment. When you practice memento mori, you will be aware of what you're leaving behind, the echo of your being, your legacy. The ancient Romans who studied memento mori after the Greeks who taught them the life of Socrates Marcus Aurelius said to himself, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, and to love. This is your lesson. This is what you need to reflect on and begin to integrate it into your life as a practice. She's turning towards the trees now and makes a sign for you to follow her. First, you pass the palm trees. Then the olive trees. Then the cypress trees. and the orange trees. Now you pass the majestic waterfalls. The woman takes you up to the top of the hill to an ancient Grecian temple.
There is a guardian next to the door and asks you to say the secret password. For a moment you hesitate and then someone whispers it in your ear three times. Elin. Repeat this word to the guard, and the guard opens the door now saying, Welcome, lover of wisdom. You have arrived to the place of transformation. is the time to reflect on today's philosophy message. You remember the message that I shared with you at the beginning of this meditation about the teachings of some great philosopher. Think about how this message can help you see things differently in your life right now. How it can offer a solution. How it can help you to become more courageous in your life. Allow the message to enlighten you, to liberate you.
Now is a good time to repeat your deep affirmation three times, your life mission and purpose. No matter what happens in your life, this will become a reality. Now in just a few moments, you will be returning to your ordinary life, your usual state of consciousness. I want to thank you for your trust that you have placed in me and know that I am always here next to you on your journey. You're at the waterfall now, ready to return, passing the orange trees and the olive trees making your way down to the beach of the island. It is time to leave. But you'll be back soon. That is for certain. Now, on the count of three, you're going to return to full open awareness, returning to your ordinary life. One, take a deep breath, expanding your shoulders, expanding your arms over your head like you do early in the morning, stretching yourself. Two, take another deep breath and move your body stretching from side to side. Three, extend to the tips of your toes and the tips of your fingers, stretching your whole body, feeling revitalized, you're feeling confident, you're feeling powerful and certain of yourself, and opening your eyes if you've had them closed up until now. The reality may look the same, but you have changed, and that changes everything. Once again, thank you for supporting my work on Patreon.com.